Moving on to news coming in from West Bengal, where there is no end to violence as the Panchayat poll date closes in. Several incidents of violence and killings are being reported from Bengal. Several BJP and TMC workers have lost their lives in the political killings ahead of the Panchayat polls. And in the latest, a BJP worker was found dead in Purulia. BJP has now claimed that the TMC workers have killed their worker while he was returning after poll campaigning. And on the other hand, a TMC worker was killed in an explosion yesterday, allegedly while manufacturing crude bombs in North 24 Parganas. Now, police suspect that the person was making bombs in the field and died during the process. But the family claims that he was murdered and the bomb blast is just being staged to hide the truth. Viewers, the Bengal is set to go for Panchayat polls on 8th of July and central forces have been deployed in sensitive and border areas. Mamta Banerjee is trying to establish her nephew in politics, in political life. All the veteran TMC leaders, those build the TMC with their own hand, are annoyed with the TMC party. You just know it. In this panchayat election, the Mamta's party will be defeated and then a similar kind of thing will, may happen in the state of Bengal. ये कई दिनों के अंदर तेरा व्यक्ति को मार्डर हो गया और ये मार्डर में तीनों मूल के आदमी भी शामिल हैं मैं तीनों मूल का आदमी को भी मार्डर हुआ तीनों मूल तीनों मूल को मार रहा है हमारे स्टेट बंगाल स्टेट का स्थिति ऐसा हो गया जो रूलिंग पार्टी रूलिंग पार्टी के मेंबर एक दूसरे को मार रहे हैं सी यू कैन नॉट relate each and every murder, each and every incident with the election. It might be due to many other reasons. BJP believes in vulture politics. You must recall, during one visit of Amit Shah, when he was in West Bengal, one BJP cadre, Arjun Chaurasiya, was found hanging in Kashipur. Immediately cancelling all his schedule, Amit Shah went to that particular place, and before the investigation started, he declared that it's a political murder. According to their will and desire, the postmortem took place in Command Hospital, which is a central government institute. And it was found that it was a clear-cut case of hanging. It was a clear-cut case of suicide. Definitely every death is painful. Not a single death is expected. But each and every death or each and every incident must not be related with the election politics. So we have to understand one thing that the panchayat poll is just near the corner. It is to happen this week and we see violence in Bengal and there is no stop to the violence in Bengal and the main question is that who is to take responsibility because we see the political blame game is also on. Now we have two heartbreaking updates from Bengal today. One from Purulia, you know, the state label booth secretary of BJP, Bunkim Hansha. You know, he went missing when he went campaigning for uh, the upcoming panchayat poll and then mysteriously he's body was recovered. Now, of course, according to the BJP, this is uh, done by the TMC goons and, you know, the leader of opposition, Shubhendu Odhikari, have demanded a severe investigation into it. On another instance, we see it comes from, you know, Shalipur village of North Chobish, Porgona, where a TMCP worker, you know, named Poritosh Mondol. So, what happened is that they were, uh, you know, managed manufacturing crude bombs and due to an explosion he died and another one got injured though they were rushed to the hospital but he was declared dead upon arrival and another one was seriously injured now uh, though the police is saying that this is just an instance of you know explosion while making crude bomb in the field late night the family have demanded that this is staged by the police and there was no explosion he was murdered now of course there is a political blame game which is going on and TMC is claiming that this is the work of BJP and BJP on the other hand is blaming the TMC